How you doing everyone? Welcome back. Have a really quick look at Spell and it's not good news. Um, it could be, but on the initial outlook, I mean, I think you've all been watching my videos recently and the last video shows the, where we expected to consolidate and have a bounce back up um, through the cloud. We, we didn't and a sell off um, ensued and it didn't really match the movements of, of Bitcoin, but what was nice to see was that we took a bounce, uh, we got significant support resistance at 12.21 and we did have a bounce there and then when Bitcoin took a bit of a nosedive we really followed suit. Uh, we actually wicked down to the 1618 um, which is lower than our original uh, price point for this fib that I had run in which dates back, uh, it, it dates back to um, circa the 4th of December low um now we have had a protection bounce uh when we first touched it and we've slightly been rejected um at the, the 1220 we haven't even made it up to the cloud um so the, the, this is not looking good for spell um so what to look for now and i'm just going to jump into uh the 15 minute chart from the hourly so that's a that's a happy sign um Although, yeah, although we did whip down um, below 11.63, we, yeah, we didn't make it above the, the, I don't really look at the 15 minute clouds to be honest, I, the hourly is the one, the hourly and the daily is, is uh, the ones to watch, but um, we're being held, we are being held, but it's good that we don't want to go lower than 11.6, um, that should be that should be the low. We've uh, we've come to it. We've bounced. We've bounced again. Um, obviously, the more times we touch a resistance zone, the more times we're uh, more likely to fall through it. Um, it's the same when you're when you're bullish and you're you're pushing higher. Um, two, three, four attempts. You're normally through. So we're looking at two. If we bounce back down. Um, we may fall through on the third occasion, whip back up, and if we don't bounce from there, we could be moving lower. So if we were to move lower, what to look for? I'm just going to pull out to the four hourly to see if we've got anything that's going to give us some uh, some guidance. All right, I'm just going to. Put some support lines in here and see where these match up to where we are at the moment. All right. Okay, so if we were to lose support here at the 1618, our next stop would be one cent flat then nine cents nine well woof. yeah one cents flat and then we'd like we'd we'd add a naught and come back to nine then eight yeah i can't see it i can't see it going sub a cent so um what to look for next would be is if we lose the support here at the 1618 which you can see isn't a significant um support resistance zone on the total price action but just from the december low to the most recent high we're, we're sitting on it and it does want to hold there so we need to see a move um in that sort of direction from here i'm going to mark that red because i don't see it playing out um although that would be best case scenario um what i can see happening is a level of consolidation while this thing finds some support and then pushes higher I'm going to mark that amber, um, but what to look for if this worst case scenario would be probably movement down, that may be a wick or it could be sideways action, maybe dip below and then we come and link up with that sort of move there. So uh, apologies, it can't be better news for spell, um, long term really bullish on this, uh, on this token, I think what they're trying to do is, is tremendous. Um, but we just need the uh, the support behind it to uh, to move it forwards. All right, best of luck. Not financial advice. Please do remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.